All righty, uh, recording's back on. I'm gonna go for another half hour or so, and then I'm gonna call it the quit. There's just no way I'm gonna... This is stressing me out, the level of intensity that's going on right now in order to get to, through, through this floor. Pull it back and I'll go. Flight plus swiftness should give me a very, very good move speed. Unfortunately, lightning is able to hit me from pretty much anywhere and it carves through my abominations, so. Yeah, I don't think we killed him in the end. You know, I could have at least turned on swiftness, you know, paid lip service to the fact that I, I, I knew better. roughly 80 mana. I've got to risk the clown in order to get out. The good news about clowns is that they're very inconsistent by the looks of it. Oh my god, just in adjacent to me nonetheless. Make sure that there's abomination surrounding me so he can't blink and hit me. There we go. Drop that honeycomb. Oh god. Yeah, see, this is just the worst possible place for me to be in order to fight this guy. This is much more my scene. where he couldn't hit me if he wanted to. Alright, heading to the door. Make sure there are plenty of abominations floating around. I saw a killer clown, so I'm on full alert status. That wasn't a killer clown, it was a killer cob. There we go. And once you know it, he can still nearly kill me in one turn. Oh, that's not an ally, that's why I'm taking so much damage. Whoops. Wounds. Oh god, just go upstairs. Fight in the hallway. In fact, shout repeatedly to make sure that you don't have to fight in the hallway. There's just no way to force this guy's hand, is there? There we go. Come fight me here. Come fight me here. You didn't kill him. You let him go. I saw that. I'm not a very big fan of this, honestly. There you go. Catch his ass. Uh, yeah, I need to eat this stuff, so poison resist instead of regeneration. And eat, need, 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 need. And then poison resist instead of regeneration reversed. Here we go. Okay, and once more, we're in the chamber. It's another killer clown. You know, killer clowns strike me as the easiest enemy in this area. 
he re they reliably die, they don't seem to have a whole lot of damage output, their spells aren't that dangerous. It seems like them and the orb guardians are the easiest it gets. Please tell me he's following me. Good, he's following me. That was fly, that wasn't recall. Recall is what I wanted. Okay, we leveled back up to 23. I know I have at least one banked life, but that's not going to last very long. Those guys are all dead. Like, there's no way the Orb of Fire is going to succumb to so little damage. I'm going to spam until I'm out of mana, then I'm going to retreat. And hopefully, in that time, we can take down the Orb of Fire because we have a perfect surround. Yes! Orb of Fire goes down. <sighs> Taking out one Orb of Fire is so hard. And there's like so many of them too. Okay, there's another. Backing off. Starting to spawn my army. Okay, that's a good army. And the Orb of Fire is no longer here. Go figure. Shout once. Send this army at- oh no, there it is, there it is. Go kill it. Go kill it, people. Uh, go figure. This is not going to be enough of an army to kill the Orb of Fire, and I'm out of mana, so I have to retreat. To kill the Draconian, I'd rely on eight. Comfortably enough. And you guys managed to not succeed, eh? Go figure, go fucking figure. What? Oh, it was a summon. Cheeky bastard. and flight. I don't want to take any chances here. There's what I was taking a chance on not taking a chance on. Um, let's start spam casting shadow creatures one more time. And see if we can't do anything about this orb. With a devastating volume of summons. Okay, we got it. We got it, and we took it out. Um, I'm gonna go kill that Moth of Wrath, please. Thank you. Moth of Wrath. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure the route to the staircase is open and clean. Because if we lose our retreat, we lose everything. It is. Very good. Back into the fray. You know, this teleport trap could potentially save my life later on. Gotta remember that. Swiftness, flight, into the fray. I don't trust it. I'm gonna put more summons on the Barbie. And power. Come on. Okay, that's one, that's two. Anything else? It's like we play tag, you know, I shoot it once and then it knows to come, and the moment it does, it gets beat up by the real army. Any of you have ever played League, you know what it's like to be taunted from the bushes. Uh, you don't see me yet, do you? I have to wait another turn. There we go, now you see me. Okay, in we go again. This time, we'll see if we can't pull another... You, yep. Tag, you're dead. That's the Orb of Zot. Tag, 
hashtag you're dead. And that's the Orb of Zot. Now, I don't know how this works. I have to assume that the moment I pick this up, all hell breaks loose and the game goes berserk. But this could be my first time ever beating the game. So, a little bit of a heavy moment, too. Uh, let's go ahead and go, uh, let's go very systematically. Let's make sure everything is exactly where we want it to be. You, I'm going to want uh, my mana to be near full, if not full. We're going to want haste, swift, and flight. Very good. Uh, there is an adequate number of minions around. I'm going to put back on the ring of teleportation, as I already have teleport control. I picked it up. Oh, crap. Teleport is still banned on this floor. Well, I'm hasted and swift, so let's... The ore prevents control of your teleportation. You know what? That's going to significantly alter the way I, uh, I play. If the orb is what's doing it, then... I'm going to need to take this ring on and off at will. So let's take it off. Let's remove the ring of teleport and not put anything in its place, actually, because I don't want... I want to be able to do it in one turn instead of two. And let's head straight for the nearest staircase. We're going to make a beeline, and that is... It looks like a summon, but it's not a summon, is it? Uh, there. Kill it, please. Okay, good, it's dead. Let's refresh one of my buffs. Uh, I don't know what I, I'm losing the most right now, so I'll, I'll, I'll redo Swiftness and fly. That's two staircases. Where's the next? The next staircase is... We'll take the red one. Here. Okay, next. Uh, this floor had several orbs of fire on it, most recently seen near there. This one actually might be a good floor to put the ring on for. Um, let's go ahead and make sure I have eight summons lying around so that if I do run into something, I can deal with it quickly. Uh, haste just got undone, so let's rehaste. I have many potions of magical energy I can use to get all my mana back, so that's not a concern. And let's take the summons with me, at least some of them. Okay, next staircase upward is... well, I don't know where it is relative to me, that's what really matters. Okay, this is the closest, it's just directly north of here, so let's go. Fly fast swiftness, all of them need to be on. Okay, next easiest route will be I still can't control teleport. Damn, that sucks. Then I should take off the teleport control ring. Why am I still wearing that? What's more useful at this point? Oh, to hell with it. Do you really want to take the time to think about that right now? Yes, yes you do. Put on regeneration. And remove teleport control. Uh, swift, fast, fly. And you know what? While nobody's hounding me right now, it would be a good time to drink an extra potion of magic. I'm not going to remain hasted permanently. That's going to drain my MP way too fast. Uh, a few easy staircases, thank god. Yeah, this is the easiest way to go. No. Fly swift is important. Keep those both on. You know what? I'm going to ignore him. I think I can outrun him. I can run circles around him. I don't want to carry an imp up with me, though. Okay, that's another floor. Alright, 21 more floors to go. 
21 more to go. Come on, this is not that complicated. Uh, yeah, just go for it. Just go for it. Anything gets in your way, you give it a kick. That's a Hellion. Those guys are damn powerful. Lucky for me, I managed to fool him into stepping into the teleporter. Okay, that's another. Uh, let's take this opportunity to refresh one of my buffs while it's convenient. And now do the other one now. Okay, what's next? Where's the next nearest staircase? Directly north. Sure, go for it. Okay, boom, that's another. No, idiot. Is that not connected? Oh, it's not connected. I don't have a dig spell either, do I? That would have been nice. Where am I? Where do I need to go? Down here and through a curly queue. Let's pray to god nothing comes. Keep swiftness going. Can't afford to lose a buff. Boom. Uh, just go for it. Remain a fly and hasted. Uh... Let's go the long way. Uh, where's the staircase that I'm aiming at? There? Okay. I think I can outdance them in this maze. Especially since I'm so much faster than they are. Haste, flight, ascend. Jesus Christ. Note to self, carry or resist fire if you have the choice. Wait, 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 wait. That's actually really close. Just take that one. This one's close enough. Fly swift. Up we go. And up we go. Okay, passing the Orcish Mines. Uh, we can ignore the snake. It might be able to keep up with me, but I really don't find that concerning. I mean, it's a snake, and I have 32 evade. Okay. While I'm being chased, let me go ahead and haste myself so that I really can get away from that guy. Okay, maintain the buffs. Maintain the buffs. Never lose those buffs. Blue Devil. Good cause. I'm still hasted though, so it's all good. Ah, kill him. He's in my way. I assume it's directly south. Yeah, okay, good. That's what I thought. <sighs> okay. This is the benefit of the haste swift fly, is that I was able to, in melee range of them, just ignore them. Let's maintain the haste. I only have four more floors to go. I just saw Unique, and I don't know what it was, and I don't care. You know what, just, where's the nearest staircase? Yeah, it's here. Take this one. You're in my way. You guys are directly in my way. I'll give you something else to think about other than fighting me. Okay, and... And I win! <laughs> I beat the game! Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's been years and I finally beat this game. Alright, this is a preview of what I hope it will look like for Mutalisk when I finally finish the Mutalisk run. Thank you guys for sticking with me. This is by far the best score I've ever had. Orders of magnitude better than I've ever played before. And Felid Summoner starting as Wizard for the win. It's a reliable build. Two times in a row, and... Yeah. Best run ever. Thanks so much. This is a...
pretty epic moment for me.